So here we go with video number two of Gears of War 3 beta online multiplayer gameplay. So um, in the last video, I seen Specialty ask, should this game only have shotguns? Well, yes, it should. <laughs> I mean, if you're like me that played Gears of War, you would understand. Gears of War 1 was all about the shoddy and the sniper. Yeah, you had the torque bow and the boom shot. They were good to use. But it was always about the shoddy and the sniper rifle. Um, uh, Gears of War 2 was sort of the same, but the shotgun, you know, a lot of people just wanted the two-piece, melee shoot, whatever. That's from some Halo shit. It, it, you know, it's, it's whatever, though. At the end of the day, the game is still fun. But Gears of War 1 was still the prime choice to go back to to play. Now, if you guys don't got the demo, Gears of War 1 would be a nice choice to... Uh, practice on because the, the speed of the game is almost like gears of war one shotgun status is almost like gears of war one and uh everything else is whatever uh, i did pick up the sniper rifle but it was pretty hard to get some headshots with so many people fucking shooting lancers and shit so yeah I, I strongly recommend when you get this game or if you're playing this demo try your hardest to avoid those fucking lancers in this match i was happy that Barely anybody used their Lancers or their Hammer Burst. Thank you. <laughs> it was finally a match where a lot of most people were using shotguns. Thank you. Anyway, so I'm always playing rank. Maybe that's why. Everyone's all hard up on trying to get their rank up. And it's pretty stupid. I don't know. I don't know why people are so caught up in trying to rank up. But apparently, I can't seem to find matches in public. So I always play rank. So... Right now, the match is still setting up. I had a couple videos earlier I recorded, but I stopped because it was so much bullshit. It was nothing but being dominated literally by the fucking Lancers and Hammer Burst bitches. And pretty much uh, the last match, before this match, it was laggy. Now, didn't they say this game was supposed to be dedicated servers? If that's the case, then why was it laggy? Like there was still a host? Because I swear to fucking God, man, if you're going to say something, fucking do it, okay? Like I said to my friends, I'm going to buy Man vs. Wild when that game comes out, which I am. Why? Why not? I play Deadly as Catch, so why not play Man vs. Wild? Which reminds me, I might get the latest uh, <laughs> Deadly as Catch just because. Just Bam, so there you go. Yeah, I was probably camping there. Most likely I was, but... You know, whatever. So I go after this guy. He kind of fucked up, but I managed to get him. Yeah. See, so right now I'm having fun. I'm getting my shotgun kills, getting my groove back in a way. It's not that hard to lose the groove, and it's not well, it's so easy to lose the groove. With so many good games out there. I mean, been jamming All-Stars too much. Homefront, I've been in and out, but I still love Homefront. Call of Duty, I have not touched Call of Duty in a while maybe on and off but never recorded a video for probably like a month or so it's uh it's still a good game in my opinion but it's just that it's not dedicated servers like Homefront, and the hit detection is still a bitch i don't care what anybody says you can say i suck at call of duty whatever i don't care besides have you seen the people with like 110 kills and six six deaths or whatever you gotta be kidding me that means they're spawn camping or some shit and when you watch their videos they are literally spawn camping or they're camping and they're saying no it's a tactical thing really yeah tactical whatever more like you're camping at their spawn getting those kills and whatnot but whatever in gears of war especially in this one yeah you can sort of spawn trap but you know, i don't think you would want to spawn trap when they're like practically all there because all you can have to do is just rush in with their shotties and beat the shit out of you or with their other um guns so i go ahead and pick up the mulcher here trying to find some enemies to kill Go ahead and take them out right there. I take about uh, one, and I think I take about two. Oh, I actually took out two. Yeah, yeah. There you go. See, get some uh, badges up. I'm like I said. I hopefully everything that I do in this game and this demo gameplay carries over to the um, to the uh, full version, so that way I don't have to work everything up again. And I don't even know how that guy got there. I guess he came down from behind. I don't know. He surprised the shit out of me. But that's okay, so I will go ahead and move on. Then I just continue my uh, wrath with the shotgun. <laughs> or what wrath? This is this is uh, 
I would have to admit this that this is the best game I had so far in uh, Gears of War 3 demo. Um, I'm happy that the demo is going to last until what the 15th of May or something. So that gives me an entire month of Gears of War 3 videos, people. And maybe some Mortal Kombat. I'm still undecided of picking it up tomorrow. I mean, after I've seen some videos of the 100% combos with Scorpion on just the demo alone, pretty much doesn't make me want to get the game. Reason? Any game that has a 100% combo that can be pulled off online or, or versus like together is pretty much a broken game. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because you're not. There's no fair chance in it, but it's understandable. Whatever. It's a fighting game. I'm just happy that uh, nobody discovered any 100% combos in uh, WWE All Stars, because that game would be fucked if they did. But in this game, like I said, look, see, shotgun battles. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I run away because. Oh no, this is not me. This is. <laughs> I forgot I died. So we're watching this guy try to run away. He's the last guy alive. That guy should have got down. He was an active reload shot, but he didn't get down, so I don't know. And I guess the guy was going to try hump, but he stopped. If he started humping, I would have called it. That dude's a fucking kid. Because you don't hump if you're fucking three against one, dude, or four against one. That's just some bitch move. You know what I mean? Especially if you're the one that didn't even get the kill. So here we go with round two. We lost that last round, and uh, in this one... Hopefully we make a good comeback. Um, actually, I think we do make a good comeback in this one. Uh, so right here, I'm just waiting to see if he's going to pop up. So I go ahead and throw my smoke. Just to throw it as a distraction. Let it pop up. And uh, I just realized, too, the smoke, you, you do get, like, it, it doesn't really stun you, actually. It just makes you cover your face, and you're still able to walk around. So it's not really like part two. I have to, I have to correct myself on that. Uh, to, but, yeah, bam. See, you got me another shotgun shot. Yeah, baby. So anyway, we keep going with this match. Um, I'm already at the enemy spawn. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I could have ran up and shot him, but the dude never even bothered to notice me. Good thing I got that kill there. So I go ahead and run in here. This is where the grenades would usually spawn. Either regular frag grenades or incineration. Boom, got that dude. Thank God. My shotgun skills is sort of coming back to me now. Been so long since I played a good gear game. and Right there, I thought that was an enemy. <laughs> But come to find out it's a teammate holding an enemy. You know, meat shield, which is awesome. Uh, what else is there? Uh, see me just planting some frags. So that if the enemies run over there, they're gonna it's going to set it off. I was pretty much in you know, Gears of War 2. That's what I always started doing. I noticed when people used to plant frag, uh, frags in um, Gears of War 2, they would put it on the walls, but they will never put it on the floor. And I always started putting it on the floor because uh, that would be the smarter tactic thing to do. Because you know they're not going to be looking at the ground. Or, you know, not everybody does. But anyway, so I go ahead and grab the mortar here. Try to score me a few kills. Wasn't sure if the enemy was spawning there, but I went ahead and I found an enemy there. So I go ahead and drop the mortar right there. And, you know, try to get some active reloads with this mortar. I managed to get one kill. But it wasn't a full thing. And I got shot from behind in the same area that where I died the last time. I have no clue <laughs> how the fuck they can shoot through there. But whatever. So I go ahead and move on. And uh, watching this guy wait till I respawn. Respawn time, it should just be instant. If you want the action to be faster in this game, don't give it a respawn time. Just respawn, goddammit. Why we gotta wait for it? Like what, they're sewing our body parts back together or some shit? Like come on, just, just let us instantly respawn and it'll be good. So over here is a shotgun battle. I win that shotgun battle. I run away, jump back, got another one, but I died. Um, died also. So it was like a, you know, those double knockouts. That's what that pretty much was. See, this is what I'm saying. The shotgun battles is is where it's at, and I'm having a few good shotgun battles in this match alone. So now we're pretty much down. Uh, I think it's one and one now for these uh, extra lives, and then we'll be down to our very last lives. Um, so I go ahead and come up here because uh. Usually most of the enemies are around here. Now, if you notice, I never, just like in home front, I never rush the middle. I always rush the outside. But see, there we go. We won. Woohoo! Finally. Because, you know, in the last video, I didn't win shit. I'll tell you the truth. I barely win any matches. Sometimes I'm on top. Sometimes I'm at the very bottom. Like, um, yeah. So here we go with round three. I did pretty good in round two. I'm on top of the lead, uh, the board right now with 11 kills or whatever. Doing really good in this match. That's why I'm like I'm saying right now, and I'm telling you the honest truth, people. 
that this is the best Gears of War 3 game that I have done so far. Uh, practice makes perfect, right? <laughs> that's, that's why every time I'm rendering these videos, I'm still playing win or lose. I got to practice with my shotties. Got to get a, get my groove back, you know what I mean? Got to get my uh, sensitivity levels at, at best, you know, what's comfortable for me. Right now, my sensitivity levels is at high. Very high, in fact. Um... If you're wondering why very high, I'm just so used to it. Like, in Call of Duty, I can play with the highest setting. But it, 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 I'd have to turn it down sometimes just because I would get annoyed at the fact that I'm not hitting well. But I can play with high sensitivities because I used to do that in uh, PC gaming, PC FPS games. I would always turn the shit up high for the quicker reaction time. Uh, in this one, uh, Gears, I always put it on high also because it really helps me out. I want that quick reaction time. So uh, pretty much right now, it's pretty at, pretty much at an even lay, uh, playing field. See, we got, oh, now they got nine. We still at 11 lives, um, including the four or five players that will be on here. So technically, you got like 15 and 14 lives. And I'm just going to rush to the other side. Like I said, I, you never see me rush the middle. See, I got this guy right here. He's running, trying to run away. Instead of changing up, just keep shooting until he's down. Uh, fucking teammate took my kill, but I still got 100 points for it. Thank God. Because I'm trying to level here, bitches, but I ain't trying to fucking uh, rush my levels. I'm just trying to let, get it the way I normally would get it. Now, this part kind of fucked me up. Boom. Sawed off shotgun. One shot kill. Saw me at the very last second, and he still got me. And, and I swear to God, I pulled the fucking trigger before he did. But he got his kill. And I hate that shit. So, yeah, but... This match is actually, you know, really fun. Like I said, this is pretty much the one match that I had that was mostly shotgun. See? Shotgun battle right there. Bam! I win. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Now, this is Gears of War. When you just have shotgun battles, this is what it's all about. I mean, come on. In Gears of War, like, are we all that spoiled from Gears of War 2? Now, I see them at their spawn. I hide. Try to get some kills on. Managed to kill one guy, but I get killed. So yeah, I guess you could say I was sort of spawn trapping, but when it comes down to it, it's whatever, right? I told you that you can't really spawn trap them if there's a gang of them spawned at the same time. So yeah, in this, like I said, don't be spoiled by Gears of War 2 people just because you use the Hammer Burst or the Lancers in those games. In this one, come on, that like the only reason you guys switch up to those guns is because the shotgun wasn't that great in Gears of War 2. In the Gears of War 3 beta demo... My god, it's just like Gears of War 1. So come on, shotgun battles, man, as you've seen in this video. Shotgun battles is the shit. I love it. So anyway, match is over. We win. I come second place on this uh, on this team board. Was in the lead earlier, but it's okay. I actually came out positive and not negative on this or, or even. So anyway, stay tuned for more videos. I will gladly keep putting up more Gears of War 3 videos till the demo is done. Other than that, stay tuned for any videos that I put up. Also, check out the Audible Lab Rats music video in front of my page. Like it, so, uh, comment it, whatever. Other than that, stay tuned for more and mahalo.